Good morning, everybody. I hope you can all hear me. Um, we're just going to wait a, a, another moment, uh, another minute um, for other others to join. Um, but if, if one of you would be kind enough just to make a note in the chat box that, that you can actually hear and see me. That's, that's wonderful, thank you. Okay, well, it, it's it's 10 o'clock here in the UK and it's 11 o'clock across Europe. Um, welcome, uh, everybody. Welcome to today's presentation. Um, I'm going to be talking today about the forthcoming SG125HX. I'm Andy Lysett, um, and I'm the head of the UK and, and Ireland uh, within the Single Europe team, and I'll be moderating today's webinar. In addition, uh, the, the webinar will be live. It's going to be recorded, um, so it will be available after for your, for your reference. Um, it will be uploaded to our website and on, and on YouTube. And in addition, we'd love to hear from you. Uh, please use the chat box um, in the bottom right-hand corner. Uh, we'll try and answer the questions as we go along, but if not, well, then we'll be having a Q&A session at the end in which we'll ask Simon uh, the, the, the questions that you've been putting for. So if you're just joining us, welcome just in time, because I'd like to introduce our guest speaker today, um, Simon Hammer. Simon's been in the PV industry for 12 years and uh, in, in various different capacities. Um, has been with Sungro for four years, since 2016, and is head of product management in Germany. So Simon, I'm going to hand over to you where you can uh, please enlighten us with, with the presentation on the SG125HX, the, the, the fourth coming inverter from Sungro. Okay. Um... Thank you for the introduction, Andy. Um, yeah, as mentioned, my name is Simon Hammer. Um, I'm here with Sangro since 2016. And in this webinar, I want to present to you our new SG125HX inverter. Um, this inverter will be available end of this year, beginning of next year. Um, let me um, give you a short overview about the inver uh, inverter. Um, so we have a maximum power for this inverter of 125 kVA. This up to an ambient temperature of 40 degrees. The inverter is a 1500 volt DC, 800 volt AC inverter. It has um, six MPPTs and um, two string connections per MPPT. So, um, yeah, um, 12, 12 string connections in total. And um, furthermore, a good feature here for this inverter is that we have a PLC communication available for this inverter. And um, also we have an integrated PID protection device in this inverter. The intended application scenarios for this inverters are, um, so this um, inverter is designed for block, uh, small block size optimization. Um, it gives you a flexibility in uh, combination with our SG250HX inverter, which is the bigger rudder more or less. Um, it is very suitable for complex terrain due to the um, multiple MPPTs um, and differing shading situation. Um, for sure, then for the for the mismatch optimization due to orientation and shading, and also for the use of bifacial modules. And um, it is very suitable also for harsh environments. Um, with the next five slides, I want to give you an uh, overview about the key features of this inverter. Um, so first of all, the convenient installation. Um, we have uh, multiple handling grips here, here, and also here, which you cannot see it at the moment. But uh, this makes it very uh, convenient for handling on-site and um, installation on-site. 
We allow a horizontal mounting for this inverter, which can be very useful for some applications, and um, which is also very good, is that we have very easy accessible connectors here on the downside of the inverter. I show you some more details in another um, slide later. And um, we have a high environmental resistance for the installation, so uh, inverter is very suitable for, for, for harsh environment um, installations. Next key features are related to comfortable O and M. So we have um, the possibility to do remote firmware updates for this inverter. We have uh, a single string current monitoring equipped with the inverter. Um, we can offer the function of IV curve scanning for this inverter. And uh, we have several proactive fault analysis um, features for this inverter. Regarding the flexible plant design, um, key features here are, as mentioned at the beginning, um, that the inverter is uh, especially suitable for smaller block designs when it comes to one, two, or three, or five megawatt uh, size blocks, um, then it gives you more um, flexibility to, to, to uh, find the right configuration and, and, and make the best use of the power with a um, little smaller inverter. Um, also, as mentioned, um, it is um, a flexible combination uh, advantage with our SG250. So if you think about um, plants where you maybe have to fill up corners with a little uh, less power inverter, or where you have uh, difficult geometries um, where a smaller inverter fits better, then this is the right device here. Um, yeah. Six MPPTs gives you the flexibility to, to um, reduce your mismatch uh, losses if you have different shading situations, orientations. Also, if you um, deploy bifacial modules, this is an important feature. Um, as we have two string terminals per MPPT, this is a totally fuseless design. Um, what is possible for the inverter is that um, you have to um, you can connect more than more, uh, two strings to one MPPT. So three strings per MPPT is uh, what you can do maximum, um, which uh, gives you the opportunity to increase your DCAC ratio. Um, finally, um, it has a very wide input voltage range from uh, 500 to 1500 volt. Regarding reliability, um, yeah, the inverter is, is very suitable for uh, installation and in, in, in harsh environments or um, with, with uh, high environmental impacts. So we have a IP66 ingress protection, um, furthermore, a C5 anti corrosion grade. Um, then uh, it's also very good for high lightning sites. So we have a high lightning protection level for this inverter. I'll come to that later. And uh, also um, the inverter is equipped with an um, arc protection function. The smart features um, of the inverter are, um, first of all, very good feature is that we have an integrated NTPID and PID recovery function. Um, as mentioned before, the PLC communication, uh, which uh, lets you reduce your, your uh, monitoring costs uh, without so no need for, for additional cables. Uh, we have a Q at night or re reactive power at night function. Um, yeah, for enhanced grid support, so it's also a very good feature. Um, the cooling concept is a smart active cooling concept. And um, commissioning is very quick and easy via APP and Bluetooth. With um, the next slides, I want to go a little into the details of the key features. Um, first of all, regarding the convenient installation. So um, for its power, it's a very small and light inverter. 
So uh, dimensions are here 799, 695, 350 millimeters wide head depth, uh, which is very compact. And um, due to its high power density, um, the inverter has a, a weight of 70 kilogram. So um, it's, it's suitable for installation uh, by two persons. Um, so very easy to install and um, keeping your installation costs low. Here are um, details about the uh, cable connections. Um, so basically the, the SG125 is designed that way that you don't have to open any cover um, to do the cable connection. Um, for the AC connection, we have here a so-called buckle design. So you have here AC connection box. Um, you just open the buckles, remove that box, pull, put in the cable here, and then you have the, the outside accessible bus bars where you can connect the cable, and then you just fix the cables and fix the AC connection box again, and that's it. Um, for the monitoring connection or communication connection, so if you intend to use RS485, for example, instead of PLC, or if you want to use the dry contact of the inverter, um, then uh, we have here uh, this uh, monitoring cable connection box. This can be easily removed by removing this cardboard here. And then you can pull out the connection box, insert the cables connected to the interfaces, which are accessible here. And um, yeah, uh, put the box on again and put in the cardboard and uh, that's it. So that's very quick and easy. Um, yeah, uh, reducing your installation time and keeping your costs low. Um, we, uh, as SunGrow, we uh, um, rely on a smart air cooling concept uh, for our inverters. Um, this is also the case for this inverter. Um, the reason for that is, is quite simple, uh, because a lower temperature rise, uh, internal temperature rise of the inverter is significantly enhancing the lifetime of the internal electronic components. Um, and furthermore, um, this is, uh, enables us to have a maximum uh, power output of 125 kVA up to 40 degree ambient temperature. Um, should there be an, an exchange of the fans be necessary, we have a very easy replacement method here. Um, this is a, a slide and swap design. So uh, you have the fan compartment here. So this is here below. The airstream is from, from down to top side. And here's the fan compartment. And you can just remove one screw here and pull out um, the fan module and uh, can uh, very quickly exchange um, the fans. As mentioned before, um, regarding the flexible plant design, um, the inverter is fully suitable for bifacial modules uh, up to 500 watt peak or uh, even more. Um, this is enabled uh, by having a maximum input current per MPPT of 30 amps. So um, the inverter is, is also especially designed for the use of bifacial modules. Um, Regarding reliability, as mentioned before, we have the IP66 uh, protection degree. So um, yeah, um, it's, 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 uh, makes the inverter suitable for a very wide range of installation conditions uh, regarding uh, water and dust impact. Um, in combination with the C5 anti-corrosion uh, grade, um, this is, uh, um, yeah, the inverter has, has an even more wider range of, of, of installation uh, possibilities. So with a C5 anti-corrosion grade, uh, we can, uh, you can do near shore installations, uh, which can be less than 350 meters to shore, or you can install the inverter uh, in, in other 
corrosive uh, atmosphere conditions. Uh, for example, if you have, have, have uh, um, a certain industry near to the plant, uh, um, this can be also uh, be a very helpful feature. As mentioned before, um, the inverter is also optimized for sites with uh, high lightning impacts. Um, so we have a type two DC SPD equipped with the inverter and a type one plus two AC SPD, uh, giving you extensive safety for uh, high lightning sites installations. Um, the integrated arc protection function um, is um, yeah, a requirement in some countries, but is generally a good feature to have. So if somewhere in the fields there is a arc fault happening due to bad insulation of cables or wrong installation of cables, then the inverter will detect that um, arc fault and um, will uh, suddenly shut down the inverter to avoid, uh, to guarantee the safety and to avoid the further system damage. Um, the diagnosis is, uh, diagnosis is very accurate and uh, also uh, supported by a self-learning algorithm. Um, so this is um, a very good feature. Another smart feature is uh, that we can offer IV curve scan and diagnosis. Um, so Sangro invented here a patented diagnosis algorithm, um, which enables a precise positioning of abnormal PV strings. Um, with this feature, uh, you, you can uh, make a scan for one inverter, or you can do a scan for the, for the whole plant like you wish. Um, the output is a graphical diagnostic report, um, giving you also uh, recommendations for appropriate actions. Very good smart feature, um, as shortly mentioned before, is the built-in PIBD protection. Um, Basically, we have uh, two modes for this inverter. Uh, one is the NTPID mode, um, which is the day mode. Uh, what we do here is that we lift uh, the DC minus potential up to ground level during day to avoid uh, the PID effect to happen during the day. Um, on the other hand, we have uh, the PID recovery function, which is the night mode. And uh, for the night mode, um, we apply a positive potential on DC minus towards ground during night um, to heal or reverse the PID effect, which happened during the day. Um, both um, modes are, are based on a DC side lifting solution. Um, and um, yeah, it's a built-in solution. It's fully integrated to the inverter. So there's no need of, of any additional uh, PID uh, protection devices to be installed. Um, finally, I want to mention that uh, with uh, those two modes, uh, we are able to support IT as well as uh, TN systems um, for applying the PID protection. Um, another smart feature is um, that the inverter is uh, suitable um, for deployment, uh, especially also in, in, in uh, weak grids. Um, so if you look at the ACR, so the ACR is the short circuit ratio, meaning um, the short circuit capacity by the uh, um, capacity of the of the inverter power installed. Um, so if you have well, you're lower than three, then you normally have a, a weak grid condition. And uh, with this inverter here, we um, can guarantee a stable operation and uh, in a weak grid with a value of 1.2, which is below the three. So this inverter is, is, is very suitable for weak grids. Um, it's based on a, on a patented control algorithm. Um, which also leads to uh, less distortion and less harmonic impact on the grid.
So finally, um, let me give you an overview about uh, the system monitoring and control for this inverter. Um, so the central unit on the block communication level is our smart communication box. Um, the main component for the smart communication box is our Logger 3000. So the Logger 3000 is gathering the data of the 125HX inverter. Um, also gathering data of a, of a connected MV station. And um, in, the, in the other direction, it's also the gateway to receive the controls from a power plant controller. And finally, uh, the Logger 3000 in the smart communication box here has the PLC receiver module uh, integrated. So um, it enables the PLC communication between the inverter and, uh, and the logger. Um, on um, local monitoring plant control level, uh, we can also offer our own solution for local SCADA, which is called Insight. Um, we can offer a power plant controller solution um, from our partner, which is a well-known manufacturer or supplier in the, in the market. And finally, on the remote monitoring level, uh, we have our own uh, monitoring portal, um, which is called iSolar Cloud. So we have here a browser-based uh, uh, version, and there's also an APP version. Um, I want to mention that um, our uh, communication, so we have an open communication protocol, so um, our, our um, um, monitoring is uh, monitoring is also uh, possible with with the well-known uh, third-party monitoring supplier. So uh, it's not uh, uh, mandatory to use our our own portal. So um, yeah, the communication can be integrated to to other monitoring systems easily. Good. Um, yeah, I hope I kind of could give you could give you a good impression about this new inverter, um, and I uh, hope that I could raise you, raise your interest in this device. And um, then um, you now have the chance to raise your questions, and I will try my best to answer them. So um, my colleague Andy will pick up the questions, and uh, I will answer them. Splendid, splendid, splendid. Thank, thank you, Simon, for that uh, informative presentation there. Um, so we are going to be moving to a, 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 a Q and A session. Uh, you, you'll, you'll be pleased to hear, Simon, that some questions come in. Um, first up, we have um, Alberto Morata. He's asking the, the smart communication box. Is that the Com One Hundred A box, or is that something different? That's the Com Com One Hundred A box. Yes. It is a common one, wonderful. And a, a question from, from Thomas Rosenvist um, is uh, regarding the IV curve scan and diagnosis. What is needed to get this information, uh, the data presumably, from the inverter? And is, is this only a specific feature to the 125, or do our other inverters have this? Um, sorry, the IV scanning. Yes, we've got the IV scanning. What what is needed? Uh, what it, it, either equipment or software is needed to get the data from the inverter, and is this a specific feature to the one two five? Um, so what what we have uh, currently is uh, that the IV scanning is available via our portal. Um, so. Um, but we are uh, releasing next month uh, also a, a PC software that allows you to do the IV scanning um, locally at, at your PC without the need of using our, our portal. Wonderful. And a question from Matthias, when will the product be available? I think you mentioned at the start, it'll be end of this year, stroke beginning of next year? Um, it will be available end of this year, beginning of next year, yes, around. Mm. Yeah. Wonderful. A question from Jesus. Um, please, what is the typical transmission speed of the PLC? Um, let me check if I can find that quickly. Um, uh, 
Um, I would, I would, uh, I would check this uh, after this meeting um, and uh, give a give a reply to that if that is okay. No problem at all. I'll, 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 no. I'll make a note. Hmm. And a, a question from Heribert: Is the IV curve scanning free, or is a license needed? Um, depends. Uh, depends on. Uh, depends on the um, ordering size. Uh, but this is uh, also something we can we can uh, um, answer to the to the person asking uh, after after this. Uh, Webinar, I would say, no, would be the sure. best. I, I, no. I, from no. from uh, what I understand, it's, it's generally um, it depends on the, on, on the size of, of, of the plan. Um, yeah, exactly. And um, what is uh, was it a specific um, for, for the SG one two five, or was it uh, possible with, with all the new generation um, in, inverters? I, I, I think this, this is a question for Thomas. I think he's perhaps getting again at the IV curve analysis. Is this something specific to one two five, or we're looking to, to now roll IV curve analysis out on 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 all all new units? Um, I don't know if I got it fully now. What what was the question? Uh... So, in terms of the IV curve analysis, um, yeah. is, is this something specific to the new one two five, or is this something that some are looking to roll out an all new? No, 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 no. This is this is uh, this is a feature available for all our our um, current products and and also new products uh, um, on the on the or for for the string inverters. Yes. Wonderful. And is there a recommended, uh, Alberto again, is there a recommended maximum amount of inverters connected to the same secondary um, winding, I assume, of the transformer? Um, there is um, there is a certain number of uh, um, inverters that can be connected on one winding. Um, yeah, uh, this is more more related also than to the to the uh, braking capacity of the LV breakers, um, but uh, I would I would like to check this uh, I would like to check this in detail and, and um, answer to that later. Uh, what what no, would be no, the, max, the maximum number? No, no problem at all. We we, we can certainly do that. And 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 um, as has been mentioned on the chat box, we will be. Um, following up with, with, with the emails to answer all the questions, make sure that the questions are fully answered. Um, mm. Another question from, from Heribert, um, are all these nice smart features integrated standard into the inverter or are some of them different versions or, or stroke optional? No, uh, the smart features are all integrated as, as uh, standard. Yeah. Wonderful, wonderful. Okay, like 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 we said for the for the IV curve scan analysis, um, this this is something we 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 check for which plant size this is uh, for free and and uh, for which plant size you you uh, have to pay a little bit. Uh, but uh, generally, the NTPID protection, um, the arc protection, and so on, that's all uh, that's all integrated uh, as standard. Wonderful. And uh, is it possible to um, mix the SG one two five HX and the two fifty HX into the same project? Um, yes, as mentioned in the presentation, this is this is possible. So uh, as we have the the same uh, AC voltage here for both inverters, uh, eight hundred volt. Um, this is this is uh, possible. Yes. Wonderful. Wonderful. Um, I believe that's uh, most of the questions come in. Oh no, we we, we had a last, last last moment question from 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 uh, Rene. Um, how often will the fan need replacing or or cleaning typically? Um, so basically, the fans are tested and designed for for twenty uh, five years lifetime. Um, 
so normally there should nothing happen during the lifetime to the fan. Uh, the cleaning is is um, is a question you you cannot simply uh, simply answer. This is uh, depending on the on the on the installation conditions. So if you have a very very uh, dusty polluted area, you may or, or sandy area, you have to you have to do it more often. Um, so this this depends. Yeah. Okay, so very much depends on. Uh, the, the 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 system and, and the location, environmental factors, etc. Yeah. And the PLC communication is uh, it's, it's quite a new function. And yeah. are there any reference built? Uh, any reference plants currently built with this? Um, or do we have an idea of generally the the, the megawatt or gigawatt in, installed base? Um, so the PLC or inverters with uh, PLC functions are, um, first of all, uh, the function is tested. It's uh, practically installed at the moment um, in, in uh, plants in China, but we have uh, currently several plants uh, in installation in, in uh, Europe, Germany, um, where PLC will be used and uh, those plans are just uh, going to be completed. So um, we will uh, soon have a, a, a bigger reference um, across Europe uh, with, with uh, PLC uh, installations. Splendid. Um, this is for our SG250 uh, at the moment, um, the PLC function. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very good. Well, there's there's no more questions coming in. Um, but if you if you do have questions, uh, you've been watching the presentation. Uh, please do contact Sungo, contact your 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 account managers, and um, we, we will most definitely be, be, be happy to help you. Um, and there's there's also a few thanks coming in as as as, as, as well, Simon. You'll 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 be you'll be glad to. You'll be glad to hear. So um, that yeah, thank you. leaves <laughs> that leaves um, just uh, one one thing left for me to do, and that's to to, to wrap up the uh, the session today. Thank you um, for all of you who joined. And I hope you got a lot out of that. Uh, remember that we'll be hosting several sessions um, across the week um, in, in our in our uh, Smart Energy vir virtual show. Uh, you can register any any of the sessions by going to sungrowmarketing.com. Um, otherwise, um, that's the, 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 the conclusion of the session. Really wish you a very good day. Uh, please stay safe and uh, thank you for watching. Thank you also very much from my side for attending. Thank you. Thanks, man. Bye.